Hello, welcome, welcome. It's Anne and Christy with Hot Pink University, and this is the second part of our webinar series to welcome 2017. It's a new year, right, Christy? Happy New Year to you. Happy New um, Year. As we talked about in the first webinar, this is a wonderful ritual for Christy and I, and it really sort of inspires and launches us into a series of different uh, play shops and experiences that we tend to do in, toward the beginning of the year, um, all around visioning um, and intention setting and putting things into action. And so really this second webinar tonight, for those of you that were with us the first time around, we told you we wouldn't leave you hanging after talking about the power of how we're shaped by pain and limitations and fears and, and uh, pain stories. Um, was a really powerful webinar and we weren't going to leave you hanging there tonight's webinar is really to introduce you on a little bit deeper level to the stuff we were referring to the first time around that we know like we really do we know a lot of things we've worked with a lot of women we've done a lot of work on our own and so tonight really in this webinar we're going to spend time with you sharing a sense a feel so at the end of this webinar you're ready, you know what we can offer to you, you have a general idea and um, a frame of reference around the variety of different ways we work with women and in particular with our coaching, right? Our, our um, Women on Fire coaching and our premium coaching um, where we really dive deep and we really uh, enter into an immersion experience to work with you to, to create a life that you really desire. And so this is all sort of framed, these two webinars around Happy New Year, Happy Hot Pink 2017. What is it that you really are desiring and wanting more of? And how do you really move into that action place? Right, Christy? Mm -hmm. What steps do you take and, and how does Hot Pink University and the two bodacious broads of Hot Pink University play into that for you? Absolutely. And Anne, you might want to grab your microphone and just clear it from, is it in your scarf a little? Oh, maybe. Was I muffled yep. a little bit? A little bit. It was clicking in. No, it's okay. perfect. Okay, okay, good. Good. All right. Thank you. Technology. Maybe not a scarf for this. <laughs> I don't know. It's beautiful, though. Thank you. It's got a little pink in it, that's for sure. I was feeling yeah, like so we are going to... Um, Create some space for you to consider. One of my favorite rituals of the new year is mm -hmm. to vision in of what are some of the things I want to create for myself. And I create vision boards for that, and I display them. I've done that for years and years and years, and it's very powerful. But I want you tonight, in your mind's eye, uh, think about what do you what do you desire? What turns you on? What what do you want more of? Because we actually give you permission to have more. <laughs> what, uh, what things, what, what would be a big yes? One of the requirements that we have in, in working with us, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, is that you have to have a big yes when you step into the, the work that we do. So for some of the women, that is um, creating their very best relationship with the people in their lives. For others, it's travel. For other women, it's creating more freedom in their life through a business that they own. Um, because of the work that Anne and I have done over the past six years of creating our own business through Hopkins University and University, the work that we've done with women, we are really able to mentor and handhold that for you. So what do you want more of? What do you desire? If you happen to have a journal, um, pull that out now. If you don't, take a pause, pause us, and then come <laughs> back. Come back and join us with your journal and just take a moment to write some of your thoughts of, if I could have more, what would I want more of? And so I want to take you through that possibility as we move through the various steps. This is going to be a large picture overview, so it's not right. going to be a deep dive that you get from working one-on-one -on -one with us over the course of six months. But this is going to be a large overview that kind of gives you a little taste, and you will leave this time with us tonight with the next best step for yourself. And so that first thing, that first module, the first month when we really work with women, is we take you through 
through our playbook that you get and through the call that you get and the one-on-one -on -one coaching, you get one-on-one -on -one with Anne, you get one-on-one -on -one with me each month. I mean, that's a lot of support in a month. The playbook, the call, the two coaching sessions. In that first module, we are really having you commit to putting your hot pink big girl panties on. And if you've read our book, you totally get what I'm talking about. If you've not read our book, this is all about clearing some baggage, clearing some limiting beliefs that you have in your life, and trying on some new ones. And this is a really integral foundational step that we know works because we've done it in our own lives. And if you watch the first video, you will see some of the clearing that we did. And that's the first step. If you haven't, go ahead and pause this video and go back to that first video and, and watch that because that'll really get you in this place where you kind of get the possibilities, the potential of what you can clear. And so that moves us into our second step. Which is hot and juicy, right? Um, it, in hot and juicy, it is all about kicking things into motion and beginning, beginning to shift that energy and manifest. And so um, hot and juicy, and we, we often use the reference, um, as a matter of fact, element number two, right? Not the step in woman on fire, but element number two is hot and juicy, I'll have what she's having, which is that Meg Ryan moment, right? In when Harry met Sally in the cafe where she's showing Harry how easy it is for a woman to have an orgasm. And the older lady next to her says to the waitress when she comes over, I'll have what she's having. Hot and juicy is the second module in our Woman on Fire immersion work with you that really is about bringing to the forefront, recognizing and honoring body beautiful, right? So taking a really powerful look at our bodies and um, our self-concept and our body concept and all about how we work to get solid and good in our skin and to make changes where our desire and need for change is based in something that's really legitimate and um, needs to be shifted. And so and I love that work, right? It's all about body beautiful. It is, um, it's about pleasure mapping and what we refer to as, as Pleasure 101. This step in the process of Hot and Juicy, uh, month two, is really where we begin to, uh, I wanna say push, I should probably say encourage, but I like the word push better, where we really begin to respectfully push, we always have your back, but we begin to push you into what do you really want more of? And we talk all about those two words are really hard for women, right? That want and more are not dirty words. And so that's really, um, that second month is all about kicking up your hotness. Like, What do you desire? Um, wh what role does passion and pleasure play in your life? And sensuality and your, your body and your desires. So, yeah. So the second month is all about beginning to heat it up and beginning to move you into that call of action, which leads us to month three. <laughs> yeah, I love that pleasure is second because so often women do not put that at the forefront. And without that, you can't create any of the following steps that we have in our program because pleasure is so vital and integral. Mm -hmm. So our third step is a step that um, we've run this program for, for multiple times, but it's a step that we decided to incorporate this last time around because it is so powerful. And it's about stepping into your personal power. And so it's taking those uh, labels that maybe you have about yourself or the weaknesses that people tend to point out about you. Like you're too sensitive, you know, you're, you're too dramatic, whatever those labels might be. And it's really taking those and turning them around 180 degree and saying, no, that's actually what makes me unique and powerful beyond all measure. So it's tapping into your number one on tap resource in your life, which is what makes you unique and who you are. And it's helping you embrace that, facilitating and inviting you to embrace that part of yourself as your very best part of yourself. So I love that month because it really gets you ready for the other requirement of working with us, which is step number four. <laughs> and that is all about the big juicy yes that we love to so affectionately refer to it as. Month four with us is really action, right? 
this is where you really truly put into motion your big juicy yeses, right? Saying yes to other people, generally speaking, is a very easy, almost automatic, autonomic, we, involuntary, we don't even think about it as women. We're always saying yes, yes, yes. So month four is about finding hot, what we like to call hot pink balance. It's the balancing of yes to self with yes to others. And we challenge you with things like, what's your indulgent why? What, what's underneath? And what steps do you take to, to move forward with your yes? And when I said um, in step two, we begin to, I probably should have said we nudge Christy in step nudge. two. Nudge. Because in step, because in step four. Strongly nudge. In step, in step four, we affectionately, respectfully, assertively, clearly, directly begin to push. We hold space. We hold you up. We'll walk it with you but we really, really move you in step four into what are your yeses and what do you need to say no to in order to open space to be able to say yes to other things. And so really this is um, where we begin to move to push you out of your comfort zone. Um, it's getting you to, to vision um, and dream big and set the stage for truly manifesting, right? So yeah, month four is all around yes in great big capital bold hot pink yet letters y-e-s what is your hot and juicy yes how do you fire it up so okay. some of my favorite yeses and have been um women that have either um because we do provide one in-person time you come to our camp or you come to our day-long event and the women that are working on being visible or working on their leadership or working on their own program, they come and they actually do a workshop. Like they need a workshop with our our support, our our advice, our feedback, and they kick it. Like it is powerful. And another favorite was a woman who took a vacation on her own. Like had never vacation on her own. And so her big yes was, I'm gonna take a vacation. But I've also seen women use our program to um, facilitate really difficult transitions, conversations, or letting go of something. Yes. Moving into the next transformation of what's possible and potential in your life. And I think that's just so incredible to watch. I mean, yes. it just gives me like chills when I think of some of the movement and transformations of the women that we've worked with have, have created for themselves. So that moves us into step five, which is reclaiming your purpose. Think about those times in your life where, um, you know, Anne and I both shared we're mamas and we raised children and and you lose yourself or you're in that new relationship and it's just lovely and beautiful and fills you up and completes you even. And when you get to this step, it's all about almost like a halt and like, wait, I, there was a purpose. There's a destiny. There's, there's something greater for my life. And through the tools and techniques that we create for you, we uh, take you through the facilitated process of finding your purpose. And that is life-changing life-changing yeah yeah it is it, 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 there are moments in this month five right um where where now we see and we get to be um kind of front row vip seats and the women that we work with see in each other and in themselves the actual um manifestations start to really, really unfold here, right? And um, it's kind of hard not to get emotional when you think back to some of those moments working with women where, where that light bulb sort of clicks in place for them with regard to, yeah, this is who I am. This, this is the stuff that always was sort of fuzzy in there for me that I was yearning for or, or knew was important to me or wished I could or or wanted to, or dreamed about, or didn't really fully understand, but it was always that sense that there was purpose, that, that there had to be something more, right? Or, well, I know I would love to create and do these kinds of things, but the way to get there. Mm -hmm. um, creating uh, a personal manifesto, a hot pink manifesto. One of my very favorite activities and exercises in this particular playbook and month 
walking them through the steps of um, coming up with a passion, a personal purpose and passion statement. It's awesome. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It is. It is really, um, it's really, really, really when you, st it's like the third act in the play where it's big and it's growing and you're starting to understand it and then the characters are flowing and the plot thickens and the pieces come together and, and that's month five, right? That leads us into our final month, which is month six and um, really corresponds and coincides very much with our element number four to living a life of passion, purpose, and play. And that is the power and beauty that comes from creating your tribe yeah. and from growing your, your own woman warrior tribe. We talk all about sisterhood um, and building relationships and the powerful and amazing things that can unfold from learning how to be in hot pink friendships and in hot pink sisterhood. We list specific keys, like literally, you all listening tonight, in this month and in this playbook in particular, there are truly, and we don't use keys lightly, right, Christy? I mean, right. they, are, they are keys that if you engage and acknowledge and put yourself out there and, and use them and work them, they literally unlock a lot of what has been locked for us on a variety of different levels for a variety of different reasons, but all women, I, all women desire or we're, we're gathering nurturers, right? Like it goes back mm -hmm. to our original, the origin of man. Um, I don't know, Christy. I, I think I'm really not sure, even if with the women that have worked with us who would be able to readily identify a good number of friends and a good support system, Mm -hmm. I still don't think we have ever worked with a woman who didn't somewhere in that process say it is so hard to make connections and build friendships. Yeah. Um, I would love to build, to make friends. I would, I, I really desire to meet people and to have women in my life that get it right. Mm -hmm. That want it, that get it, that, that certainly are far from perfect because we're all perfectly imperfect, but they're on the path. They, they desire more, they want more, they've got your back. And so month six is really all about first the vibe of the tribe and building sisterhood and the keys to sisterhood and how to navigate the, the ins and outs and the complexities of female relationships. <laughs> and the second part of that is sparking others is, how do you then use these things? And now, now you're month six working with us, full immersion in Woman on Fire. You know some shit. <laughs> you've, been, you've been through some, <laughs> you've released some, and you know some new good stuff. And so the, the other piece in month six, once we move you into creating and honoring and growing that sisterhood is, and I love how you frame this, Christy, I, I don't know that we're going to see it in person, but it's always such a beautiful thing when it's your turn to talk about this piece that you do that reach over, you do that reach over or that reach behind. She always says to grab her hand, to grab the hand of the woman next to you, to, to say, come on in. Remember earlier when we were talking about hot and juicy, I'll have what she's having. See, now you're in month six and you got your shit together and you've got your plan in place and you're living a life that really is on your terms and heating up. Other women want it. They'll see it. They want it. And when you feel that energy, you want to give it. And so the, the last part of month six is grab on, reach over, wave, say, hey, put your energy out there and spark others. And I should say that we don't mean to limit that only to women, right? Mm -hmm. Barking others truly is about when you are living your life on fire from a, a place of your passion and your purpose and your play, people want what you've got and people will be moved by your presentation and your energy. Sometimes people will struggle with that. We also talk about that. Mm -hmm. We also talk about how do you approach and how do you deal and how do you release and how do you navigate when you've, got that stuff and other people aren't so sure about what you've got or that it's okay for you to have it. So, so yeah, I mean, that, that feels really pretty good, Christy, to take mm -hmm. our listeners tonight through a taste of, of the first six months. 
And when we yeah. offer a, we offer a second six months VIP um, and an ongoing and 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 a lot of other programming and experiences and events in addition to um, this really is our this is our baby this is mm -hmm. our flagship um, this is where we really really give to you and mentor you and support you and celebrate you and hold you accountable and teach you and come out the other end with you in action this is this is really where the deepest most meaningful work gets done mm -hmm. i wish you said earlier and you know we get it second hand through our own experience but i often now find myself thinking Man, I wish I had this program <laughs> for me with someone else somewhere along the line. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's what makes you and I pioneers. Yeah. The reality of it is, it wasn't out there. We didn't have that. So we go back to where we started in webinar one. We're two chicks. Once upon a time, both of us living in central Wisconsin, it's a small area there wasn't a whole lot of things happening and we're women first and we wanted it. And mm -hmm. so we, we wanted it, we wanted more. So we created it. We created it. Absolutely. And now women want what we've got and we're going to give it to you in a, in a variety of ways. The best, most powerful of which is really those, those six months, those first building block six months of how to become a fire starter woman on fire. It feels really good to share those those six months in and that's just a taste really mm -hmm. it's an idea of what we do in those six months with you yeah so as we wrap up our time together the reason Anne and I do what we do and work with the women that we work with is just that we want we want you to tap in to your power. We want the feminine consciousness to collectively rise up and, and take what's really theirs. We want women to honor one another, to have each other's back. Because when we do that, the power that we can create for ourselves, for our loved ones around us um, is just phenomenal. So that's the why in why do we do what we do? Why Woman on Fire? Why Hot Pink University? We want every woman that we touch in their lives to have exactly their unique happiness, their purpose, and to fire up their big yes. Now, the what in what we do yes. is uh, once a month, you get a group call. Once a month, you get your time with me. Once a month you get your time with Anne. And you have this ability to come in that six month period of time that we're working with you to come here to Wisconsin and meet the other women that you have heard only virtually or on these um, you know, recorded video meetings. And so you get to to really meet these other women that you you become so close and that have your back. And lots of other bonuses. Um, travel. Travel <laughs> bonuses, travel discounts, things like that. I also created a six week hot pink uh, business. I call it stiletto camp, not boot camp. And if you are coming into this program because that's something that's interesting to you, you wanna be an entrepreneur yourself, that is a six-week module that really taps you into getting you on the best right path. And that's totally a bonus that you get for Huge. joining us. Huge. <laughs> and so if you feel compelled, like this is what I want for myself in 2017, these ladies are talking the talk that speaks to me, I would love to connect with you personally for 30 minutes. And Anne would love to connect with you personally for 30 minutes. We have... Um, down below this uh, webinar, we have our contact. Um, just click there and we will hop on for 30 minutes with you and really see if this is the best possible fit, the best next step for you. 
if you feel compelled to say a big juicy yes, only through this webinar series that you tapped into are we uh, reducing the price to the place that you can just click and say yes, and you are in. We have it's you fill out a qualifying questionnaire to make sure it's the best fit with your right. yes. But you are in and you are part of this launch that we only do twice a year. Christy, I just wanted to add to that the philosophy behind that if you just feel compelled and go for it and have tuned in and honor your big juicy yes and you go down below and you click, um, the idea that and philosophy behind um, giving a special um, discount or price or recognition on some level, right? We, al we always do it because we really, really, truly want to celebrate when women in the moment or quickly after being moved, right, and having information, honor themselves at a very hot pink core level with a yes, we have had women, multiple women do that. I mean, we've had many women um, right in the moment or within that time frame say, I'm in. And that's a beautiful thing. So the philosophy behind that particular piece is um, saying a big juicy yes like that on that level is hot. <laughs> it's, totally hot. hot. it's totally hot pink. <laughs> and you know, if you don't and you take your time or you want that ignite your life and you have questions for us, that's a beautiful hot pink thing too. That, that, that's all right also. Um, yes. Yeah. I so, like to ignite sessions are fun. They are, yeah. And you leave, even if you know, make the decision to not right now or not not today, you leave with their next best step. What is my next mm -hmm. best step for my life? And that's that's a lovely thing too. Mm -hmm. So Anna and I want to thank you. It has been a pleasure. And live the life that you desire now. Right on, sister. Happy 2017 to all of you. I look forward, Christy looks forward to working with you in any one of a number of ways that speak most to you. So take care and be hot pink. <laughs>